What's up guys, Tao here. Along iPhone 13 launch, iOS 15 also launched. Within the iOS 15, this unique feature from Apple, it will allow iCloud user backup on the existing OS onto the cloud even though you don't have enough iCloud storage. I will walk through with you guys how this particular feature works. Right before we go ahead, one thing you need to remember that the, this feature only available in the iOS 15 with compatible device. Here I have a iPhone 12 Pro uh, with the iOS 15 installed. Now this is just demonstration if you have a existing phone with iOS 15 installed and you will have the same feature. So just bear that in mind. All right, to start the process, what you need to do is go into setting on your existing phone and go into the general tab. And if you scroll all the way down, there's an option called the transfer or reset iPhone. Now here is where you start the, the process. So there's a new option called prepare for new iPhone. So it reads, make sure everything's ready to transfer to a new iPhone, even if you don't have currently enough iCloud storage to backup. So what essentially Apple is doing that because um, not everybody use pay or pay for the iCloud storage, uh, 50 gig or uh, 20, 200 gig, however you want to pay for it. So this will ground existing users for a temporary iCloud, iCloud storage backup. So that will allow you to transfer onto the new one once you purchase new iPhone, of course. So let's just go through this. We click on get started. Now this actually will explain to you, uh, this is my first time doing it, so we're gonna go through this all together. So extra iCloud storage to move apps and data. Uh, it says you are eligible for as much free iCloud storage as you need to, to move apps. So essentially what I, Apple is saying is that doesn't matter how much data you have on your existing phone. So the iCloud backup will just back up them all and then we'll keep it until you transfer onto the new device. So I believe you have, okay, so here it says free iCloud backup storage expires within 21 days. So which means after you back up onto the iCloud from existing device, you have 21 days to move onto the new device. So if it doesn't arrive in 28 days and um, you can request additional times. So that is interesting. So I don't know how much additional time you can request, but 21 days is pretty good time, three weeks. So hopefully you will um, get a new phone within three weeks. So you will be ready for a new iPhone, upload data. Okay, here is actually start doing 5% uh, complete, estimate time remaining and 10%. Now this actually is backing up pretty good. All right, let me show you, this is my very first time iCloud backup. So if you go into Apple ID and go into manage storage iCloud and here, uh, what loads here will actually show you, I have a free five gig storage. I used about half. If you scroll down, there's the backups right now is still doing it because I have not completed yet. As you can see, this is my very first time backup. There's only one phone, which is this current phone and it's about 14.2 gigabyte. So let's see how long is it going to take? Yeah, you can see this is my only backup on this phone. All right. Now the phone has backed up. I just left the phone on its own. I totally forgot about it. Now, actually, I don't really know how long it took, uh, but let's see if it tells me anything in the iCloud. Let's see. So the last backup uh, was at 16.44, which is 4.44. My actual free iCloud storage is still 5 gig, 2.8 gig used. That has not changed. So which means this particular backup is temporary and it only use what Apple gave me temporarily. So it says your data is ready to be moved to your new iPhone. This iCloud backup will be deleted in 21 days. 
good stuff. So really, really good if you guys don't use or don't pay for the iCloud drive. And this probably is the best solution Apple can provide. Now let's move on to the new iPhone. Uh, here's the iPhone 13, uh, has just been switched on. And uh, let's just go through this. And it prompts you set up new iPhone one continue. And wait for this, uh, where is it? Okay. So this is quicker way to set up the new phone and uh, let me password. So all the settings are gonna come in automatically. And at one point, it will ask you to restore from the backup. And that's where we're gonna select. And hopefully it will give me a selection of backup of what we just did. If you wanna continue and go ahead, uh, you want to set everything as default, you just continue, otherwise you can change the setting and restore from iCloud Backup. And that's where we will choose this option. Okay, here we go. So it recognized the last backup at 1644 and then from this phone. Now we're going to select that. Um, the 12, it says when you're ready, you come back to get iPhone ready to trade in, sold, or give away. Okay, so continue. Let's see what option to give me. Okay, and hold on, let me see what option and location service on. Fine, do it later. Don't share. Okay, now it's restoring from iCloud. All right, let's have a look. Okay, now restore has completed. And just see, now connect to a Wi-Fi network. It should be automatically connected because the setting it should just automatically come across. Now let's just the face ID, let's do it later. Create the passcode and let's do without it for now and agree and now you should not now that's it voila so everything it should uh, just come across automatically any apps it will download at the background so all those apps uh, the ones that are grayed out like this, they are still downloading. So yeah, this is a, a very straightforward iCloud backup and restore onto the new phone. Uh, even you don't have enough iCloud storage. Alright guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please click on the like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to share with others. So see you guys in the next video.